Nice refugee camp. Yeah, you all would have been better off out in the shit. Nero couldn't protect you from a goddamn thing. something under this. It's not here. You got that? You feed me over the hell. Not here. This kid is mine. It's not yours. You got that? Yeah. to you, and then I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was going to be like this. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. Don't lose a name. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, are you okay? <laughs> Mom, we gotta find your parents, okay? Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged out. Yeah, she's burning out. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How are you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Hey, 
Listen to me, listen to me. My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's here. a helicopter you waiting. Her. So listen. You killed just... my wife! Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I'm sorry, sir. No, sir. Dude, he didn't. We didn't do anything. Listen to me. You killed my wife! 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 She's been wounded. Well, what's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? We're over weight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. Come on, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. You're gonna be all right, baby. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me.
Rest easy, okay? I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you, and uh, I know, yeah, you wouldn't want me to, but I guess Boozer's right. I can't, I can't help myself. It's, uh, it's like I said, I'll be back. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I was thinking about... Boozer, you got that bounty. The only reason that I go up there. Oh, shit, rudders. Damn it. Slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I think they were just, uh, warning shots. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deke, remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Deke it out.
Okay, yes, a radio, all right. <laughs> God damn it, get back here with that! Shit, that's mine! Ah, uh, finally! Jesus Christ, those shits can run fast. Yeah. So, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here. Shit, wrangling freaks. I don't know. They had a newt and some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers, bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't, you don't think that Sarah... No, no, no I, I, I don't know. I'm just... And he's alive, Boozer, he's alive. O'Brien, one of them, Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deke it out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh, it's <laughs> great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> <All right. laughs> Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, just throw your just... leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry. Um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Close. Hey, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just. Oh my god. Hey. 
Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um... I don't know, some... I don't know where Road I am. Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so... <laughs> okay, all right. All right, I just... It'll be any minute now. All right, so. all right, all right, screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> you weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. You're not from around here. No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. What the hell? Clean! We got company! Oh, shit. All right, gentlemen. Smart so now, huh? Out here. It's big bad thought. biker, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, hit him again. Now you like that bike, boy? Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Hit him. You don't learn, do you, bike boy? Oh yes, oh. yes. Oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How Come about on. that? I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, it's I, I right. saw that and I. Oh. oh my god, I could have killed somebody. Well. Oh shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay, it's okay. I They're saw going. it in They're your going. bag and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? Hot Springs Camp, you there? I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted in Marion Forks. Deacon, I already told you everything I know. Young, a woman. Wait, he mentioned Hungry Jim's. That old pancake house by the East Bridge. Lumberjack, big stack of pancakes. Yeah, I know the one. Okay, I'll start there. You do that. And remember, bring her to me. A group of drifters came through the other day, traded us a few guns. Maybe something you could use. Ah, 
open mind, geeking out. somewhere I would need water maybe maybe down by the creek Freakers are out, but she'd be harder to see. She get in and out.
gotta set it here. All right, kid, where are you hiding? Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No. Uh, Lisa. That's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop, and they would be here waiting for me, and we would leave together, and... I got here, and there was a note that said they left with some men, and... I didn't know what to do, so, so I hid, I, I, I didn't know what to do. It's all right, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people, I know them. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp, and to eat, you have to work. Life is gonna be hard, no. but at least you ain't gonna starve. No, uh, no my mom's coming here is, for okay, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So, maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp? I know she is. Okay. Stay close. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Did you kill them? They're gone. No. Lots of sick people. here.
can sell this. Have you ridden before? No. Just climb on behind me, hang on tight. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? <sighs> you didn't talk much. My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Uh, what is that? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay. That, that sounds great. We used to go all over. On that crater, the lava flow, and black crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Someone's in the tunnel. What? Here, hop off. What are we doing? Listen to me. The gunshots that you heard, those were really bad men. Do you understand? Yes. Stay here. Find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so, okay? Lisa! Kid! Come on out, it's safe! Be safe there, you'll see. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms, you know, like pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army, but they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland, my best friend, but he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps. Water, guns, you know, stuff like that. Okay, okay, do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. Okay, someone's here. All right, this is it. We're here, so just stay with me. Well, who do we have here? Mrs. Tucker. Oh, my God. Whoa. Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people Shh, had sh chicken. Sh it's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. 
get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work here like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> Don't get soft on me, Deke. Okay, Doc. Lieutenant, don't become carrion yourself. Only animals can become carrion, Corporal, not humans. You guys check the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. Speculation as to Tobinus Atratus is confirmed. Lots of reports with Lizzie here, but have the suit on. Let me tell you. Carrion is still mostly intact and appears to be what a coilius and lioness or mule deer. As if anybody could check that. Striation of the larger muscle masses indicate infection of Hulgan strain HB. Well, leave it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, if I encounter any civilians or sub, sub, d d civilians, that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like um, making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive, What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there. That night. Farewell. The next it's night, refugee Nero camp. Protocol 2 the seven were states. burning. I Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered. Seven. Torn. Limb. Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. 
crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound, she, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again, how did you survive? Uh, we weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Uh, like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a uh, camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I... I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh-huh, and I'm gonna go with you. No, Come on. You, you can't, please. You don't... Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're gonna fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife... I put her on oxygen, I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic, she wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, report. I have to go, please. I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes, I'm gonna track you down. And I'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Look, I'm not stupid, Boozer. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her, where she died. Well, hey, maybe you can finally, I don't know, find some peace. I don't need to find any peace, Jesus, Boozer. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. Hey, Booze man, I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll salt it up in a bit. It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever happened. You said his face was scarred, so... Uh, I mean, more, please? What else can you... Do? Hey, Tuck, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Tuck, I'm here, and yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever happened. He said his face was scarred, so, uh, I mean, more, please? What else can you tell me? He wears a green coat. Looks like a guy. 
gotta move. Bring me the entire Iron Deacon safe chain, and I will hold on to what's left of the son of a bitch's face. Saint John out. Got old iron tooth on you. Yeah. Not moving, huh? He's hiding. Get him. Hey, okay. I'll see if I can make time deacon out. Oh, hey. Me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods I do, and, and maybe he's right. I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm. Which way? Back on track. Tucker! I spotted him and it looks like he was, uh, like he was waiting for someone! Don't let him oh, get come on, Rose! I Where do you think you're going, huh? You're come so back so here, you son of a bitch! Why not have to tell us where All right, he's all right let's do this the hard way! I gotta shoot. Shoot the bike! Shoot the bike, Deke! Rhodes, slow down! I just want to talk! Yeah? Oh, I want Tucker sent you to, to talk? Oh, yeah, goddammit! If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Fuck <laughs> your ass! I know what you... Talk to me your ass! Let him get away, Deke. For something? Where you going? Hell with you, St. John. I'm going. How's it going, buddy? See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Uh, uh, Deke, no. No, oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh. Nah, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? Uh, uh, Deke, no. Uh, uh. No, no, no. 
clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke. Uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm going to leave that up to Alki. Hey, Tuck, I got him. Mark down these coordinates well, and have Alki sent him. Hey, He's uh, alive. Please, man. Did he have oh, my drugs? <laughs> Deke, oh, yeah, he's alive. Please, please, we rode together, that remember? Way, okay. You and me, we were friends! St. John out. Please, please! Come on, guys, open up. Hey, Eddie. Lisa, I... Go away. Brush you something. That's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. <laughs> 